Hi, I'm going to be talking to you today about using the Manage File Transfer product uh, and using local commands to remove Unix line feeds as well as some other techniques. So here's the agenda. There are several different ways to remove the Control M characters. Most commonly, one is called DOS to Unix. The second one is to use Perl regular expressions. And lastly, we can use a VL Trader L replace host command. And this is really neat because you can apply this particular command to all incoming files if that's something that you need in your environment. So here, I would like you to show you a quick demo of what we're trying to accomplish. So we are currently in the inbox, which is this directory. And there's going to be one file. It's called vltransfers.dat. This is what the interface is going to look like in vltrader. Uh, I've got a local command here. And this is just for my local VL Trader system. The way you create this is you do clone and activate here. And what I have here is local commands encrypt. Uh, I've, I'm going to be encrypting and then decrypting because this is part of my setup. But the key point here is putting this L replace here. So before we cover that, I'm going to show you a few things. So here, I just wanted to prove to you that there are some control M characters. And I'm going to be doing a VI on VL transfers at DAT. So can you see there are some control M characters down here? So most common way to do this is to just write a command and run this. It's called DOS to Unix mail transfers. I'm just going to do more. So you see when you do more, then everything gets deleted. It doesn't exist anymore. You get truncated over here. The other technique is to use Perl. Perl HNE. This is just a simple command here. You can also use tr um, Unix command, but the important part here is just to, to use the backslash r backslash n and substitute it with this. So I'm going to run this command and pipe it to more. to print. Put a print. And you can see that's another way to get rid of these lines. So just for our purposes, we're going to be showing you how to do it in the context of VL Trader. So we have this here. We're going to be replacing 13 comma 10 with 10. So that's basically backslash r backslash n. And I'm going to be copying them to the encrypt directory. And then this is a decrypt operation where I'll move things from the encrypt directory back to the outbox. So well, they'll be decrypted. I've got another video that shows you more of this detail. If you're curious about using encryption to, to encrypt your local files. So what I'm going to do now is vi the outbox. You see this outbox, vltrader.dat? We're going to look at that now. And as I showed you in the other ones, there will be no more um, 
control M characters. And that's pretty much just the goal. Um, and the purpose of these videos is just to make your life easier with Informatica products um, and give you all the alternatives. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, let me go back to the slides. KB145962 um, also has a TR syntax if you're interested in that. And we'd love to hear from you, so please sign up for our Twitter feed and email us. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.